I'm Stephen Gerdanis with my Real Faith review of God's Not Dead, the faith-based hit film about a young evangelical college freshman, the unfortunately named Josh Wheaton, who's the lone holdout when bullying philosophy professor Jeffrey Radisson, played by Kevin Sorbo, pressures the class to sign statements declaring God is dead. Then Josh has to make the case for God to the class, or his grade will suffer. It's not hard to see why the film's so popular. It confirms everything its target audience believes, not just about belief, but also unbelief, higher education, persecution, and more. It also sort of confirms what many unbelievers think of Christians too, so everyone should be happy, right? No? Well, none of you think movies should challenge their audience, not just tell them what they want to hear. In this world, there are only two kinds of people, true believers, or at least seekers, with no moral faults, and non-believers with no redeeming qualities. There's also a Muslim father sort of in between. Non-believers can have redemptive arcs, but believers don't need to change. There's no real worldview clash here. Radisson's less an actual atheist than a bogeyman who finally reveals that atheists are just angry at God. Josh takes risks, but his faith costs him nothing of value. Ultimately, he wins everything. The debates, the support of his whole class, even a shout out from Christian rockers, the newsboys on stage. While Radisson is defeated and crushed in every way possible, destroyed by Josh in front of his class, by his girl in front of his peers, and then comes God's big biggest trick of all, smash. A good movie challenges us to empathize with people different from ourselves, to see the world from another point of view. God's not dead is so unwilling to challenge its target audience even a bit that Josh claims the founder of the Big Bang Theory, Georges Lemaitre, as a theist without mentioning that he was a Catholic priest.